Hello everyone, Don Bobo here and he, I'm here today to give you a presentation of, uh, of the new troops that we got, Guardians. They are actually very strong and I think that you uh, should keep them in mind when building a team. Uh, for this purpose I will go to the casual mode because my guardians are only level 1 and have no traits and are common so if we go against a much higher level their troops are going to kill my guardians before I get them going so let's go against this level 132 guy a little bit of loading I haven't done a video recently because I've been really busy in my life, so that's what was happening there. Okay, the battle starts now. Uh, the reason why I haven't picked uh, other colors is because a purple guardian kills one of his allies and uh, green boosts only life and uh, brown boosts only armor and this team doesn't have any other source of damage except skull damage so we have to go for boosting their stats to get higher attack and red gives attack and yellow can give attack and blue gives attack and life. Hmm. Okay, we have filled the blue. I wonder which color to pick. I think I, I'll pick the brown, is not a good choice. I will maybe go with red. Brown is not good because I don't have many. I don't use blue and and he does. Uh, well, this was a lucky spam. That's a small downside to them because you can't control uh, what is going to spawn. But that's not that bad. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, he's boosting their life. They're level 17, 18, 18. Okay, I will give him this skull magic. It isn't a problem. I need to fill my guys. So, here we go. Free skull magic. Okay, still no. We got a map. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, another skull match. His troop has armored. So that's why he's taking less damage than intended. And let's give our troops a little bit more life and a little bit more attack. Oops, too. Let's go for the yellow mixture. Mixture is it said like that? I think it is. I'm ho I hope I'm loud enough. I'm talking a little bit less loud because I know my voice is a little bit specific, and I'm trying to keep it down. Their hero is 
is gaining one armor each time I cast a spell. But I don't care. This one gives 13 and this one gives 24. And the thing with the yellow guardians is that they boost a random stat. So they can potentially boost the magic of the other yellow guardian and therefore the other yellow guardian is going to give more more status boosts like it just happened look now he will give 37 of random stats to oh whoa i made him a huge board didn't i oh well that that happens when you do when you go for a random gem spam it's not that big of a deal because look how boosted the guardians are getting. The first one has 23 attack, 33 armor, 71 life. And he started with 11 attack. But look at the second guardian. 104 attack. That's a lot if you ask me. That's, that's quite nice. Quite, quite nice. Uh, I want blue. Why I want blue? Because that's my favorite color. See, my shirt is blue. Okay, which color to mix with blue? I guess I'll use red. I suppose I won't get a format because the board is too to shuffle to do many different games are there. <laughs> One interesting thing about Guardians is that they can also create skulls. Maybe you didn't know that fact. Yes, but they do. Uh, I will show you that as soon as I get enough of skulls to spawn. Okay, I'll show you that right now with the red guy. See, we, we got more skulls. It's a risky move because it's random spam and you can pretty much give them a nice board with skulls. But if, if there's enough skulls on, on the, uh, the playing field, you can easily go for that option without much risk, of course. And as I keep casting guardians in circles, every single one of their stats keep increasing. And it's increasing quite well. If Look, 234 attack on the second guardian, and 59 magic. The, the, the numbers are great. I know that the team I fought against isn't so strong, so this isn't the best way to show the strength of the guardians but uh, if you position guardian in a normal team you should be having great results especially if you incorporate it in some four and five match mechanics like for example plague plague that drops enemy status by two each time when you match four and five or for example map emperor etc they haven't got any boost I, I didn't keep the track of what the status uh, stats are they boosting so I I am clicking on them to see who is giving more so sorry about that I could finish this fight quite fast now if I wanted to, but I want 
to boost their stats like crazy because it's fun and I want to show you how, how cool it is and it's very cool I haven't lost a turn in a while which is cool Okay, I'll kill this guy. And another skull match, and the second guy is also killed. Uh, red Red Guardian is giving 52 attack, and the blue Guardian is giving 162 life and attack. <laughs> Talking about big numbers, are we? Let's try to boost their magics more. In my first try of this team, look, I can do a skull match on top and finish this. But, 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 I'll do that. I don't want to be, to have a too long video, so I'm gonna do that. And the game is won. And as you see, the guardians are very nice. And if they had traits, they would be amazing. Look. Uh, give all allies gain 3 attack and life on skull gem matches that, that's very good that's a lot humility that gives all allies 2 armor and magic when he takes damage that's a lot I mean 2 magic stats every time imagine if he gets poisoned that's very nice and justice doesn't have a very good third straight but it's not bad either so that's all for this video from me i hope you liked it and if you are interested in, interested in seeing some of the troops uh, in practice I, you can comment on the troops you are interested in and i'll make a team around that troop bye guys